First, it was going to be a completely different type of video. I was going to unbox this projector on camera, I was going to use it thoroughly, I was going to make a screen like DIY style and I was going to tell about the whole experience to you. Something went wrong before I can tell you about this projector. I have to tell you some kind of backstory first. I do like watching movies a lot. I need something to watch them on. And here is the problem. It is very hard to find a nice TV or a nice monitor or Yes, that is the catch all the time. I have been looking for a perfect monitor or a perfect television, but nothing is perfect. And perception, the way those movies give you emotions, highly depend on the size of the movies. Yes, its physical size of the screen really matters. For example, when you watch something in the cinema, it's completely different experience from you are watching something on your phone on your five or six inches display. I was looking to big TVs. <laughs> well, again, there is a catch. Even colors are not really nice, and of course there is that backlight bleeding, low effect, blah 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 blah. Every little thing we love about IPS and TN panels. Of course, there are OLED TVs. But they're really, really expensive, and that burning, it's still out there. Just look at Amazon or Best Buy, there are plenty of people who are complaining about <laughs> burning in. So, <laughs> I ended up with the cheapest projector I could get. Not the cheapest, cheapest, but cheapest from those which people telling are pretty decent for the price. And this projector. I'm not sure if I mentioned already, is a Toinger H5. I liked that thing. I liked the way projectors produce the image. It is different from LCD or OLED. I do not have that feeling that stuff just lights up, shines into my eyes like flashlight from the darkness. Image is soft, image is really nice to look at. Also, that psychological aspect, I think I'm getting those vibes of going to the cinema with my friends <laughs> or alone. I also go to the cinema a lot alone. It is completely normal phenomenon. I liked the way the image feels. I liked that you can make the screen really big, but at the expense of brightness. And the brightness here is the main problem with this projector. Brightness and therefore contrast ratio biggest problem with this projector manufacturer says that this projector is supposed to have the brightness level of 200 ansi lumen but i measured i measured 150 ansi lumen this 150 very very dim and the larger you are making this screen the dimmer image gets. I do enjoy watching the stuff on this thing. I do really enjoy it, but it just doesn't deliver <laughs> that brightness enough for me. I do like the way, again, I do like the way this projector produces the image, but brightness is not enough. The point is, the point is, that's about feelings. The only thing I want to talk about is feelings. I mean, I do enjoy watching movies and this stuff feels completely different from watching movies even on the big screen well let's say this we've got projector with a let's say 65 70 70 let's say 80 inches we've got an 80 inches projector and somewhere who knows where we've got a nice oled display 80 inches and i would still choose a projector image over this 80 inch OLED. As I said, it is just feels completely different from the way LCDs or OLEDs work. Image is soft, it is reflected, but of course, yes, that is the thing I was going to talk about, I'm going to say this right now, you need a screen. Right now, those are just wallpapers, blank wall, and it's what it, watchable, it is really watchable, but 
it's it has some kind of texture on it it distracts but steel even though those are wallpapers with a texture and brightness only 150 lumens i still do enjoy watching stuff on this projector i mean <laughs> it is completely different experience and i do really like the way it is i think i'm now into projectors <laughs> let's just talk about this particular projector and what i noticed as my first projector ever this thing needs some time to warm up it's not annoying you just click this thing on and go about your business prepare yourself for watching stuff yes 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 preparing another psychological aspect of owning the projector let's say you've got a usual laptop or a computer with a LCD screen <laughs> probably you have an LCD you want to watch some movies you just click and you're watching no need to prepare anything but with the projector you need to turn it on you need to let it warm up you also need to adjust focus yes you need to adjust focus and if it's not fixed in the same position if you are moving this thing from one place to another you need to adjust focus every single time you need to turn off the lights otherwise it's completely unwatchable yeah let me turn the lights and you see bye bye image this particular projector with a 150 ANS lumen is barely watchable even if it's completely dark so you need to turn this thing on let it warm up you need to adjust your focus turn on the lights and basically prepare yourself to watch some movies get into the mood and it feels different if i would choose only one word i would say that watching something on the projector is just like an occasion <laughs> i'm not sure i'm not really sure if it's appropriate word it's not just something what happened you just scrolling stuff and you click in the movie and you're watching it no you're preparing yourself to watch this movie and you're getting ready and you're watching psychologically it is different you are investing your time and your mind into watching something and therefore it is a completely different experience especially if you are watching movie in a complete darkness and i'm and it wasn't even suggesting you i'm begging you watch movies in a complete darkness it is a completely different experience yes but keep in mind that if you've got not really appropriate room for example your wallpapers are bright white the whole room is just lights up and image getting worse basically projector getting brighter making the room brighter and the room bright room getting making projector image worse it's showing some stains some light bright stains i have no idea what is this but it's there it is really hard to clean does just suck inside and outside dust is everywhere and it's hard to clean really hard to clean like really hard to clean though it is only 150 ans lumen do not look inside really do not even try you are getting your eyes hurt really bad and if you've got a projector with a higher brightness than this one higher than 150 maybe 500 as i said before <laughs> no please do not look inside and again about lamp brightness it resets every time from high brightness into standard brightness and i have to go to the settings to make it more brighter again there's another problem with this projector but probably with any other lamp projector is that you need to place the projector in the center of the screen straight to the center of the screen if it's completely in the center in the dead center of the screen there is a chance that your head is going to be on the screen as well so to remove the shadow of your head from the screen you need to lift your projector or move it to the right or to the left it do support 
adjusting it like I'm not sure how do you call it but anyway if it's a little bit above the center or below the center you can adjust the image so it doesn't look like but there is a problem again if it's not in that center if you lifted it above the center and you are adjusting it corners are completely out of focus so you need this case with this projector but probably there are plenty of other projectors you need to place in a dead center to get a proper image so the more centered it is the more focused image you are getting again to the brightness of the thing in the center it is 260 lumens but by its side by perimeter it goes as low as 110 lumens i mean twice twice as dim as in the center but weirdly enough it's not really noticeable i have no idea why but it's really not that noticeable but probably still a not really good thing having a projector with a 250 lumens in the dead center and by its side about 100 twice twice as dim it's not cool but it's not that noticeable i have no idea why but it's not this thing is noisy if you are using your headphones it's not the problem but if you are not using your headphones it can be a problem for you So that's probably all what I wanted to say, at least now, about this projector, about my experience with my first projector. And let me try to sum everything up. First thing, and the most important thing, it is a completely different experience to watch films on the projector than on a LCD or OLED TV or monitor. Completely different experience, and I'm getting those cinema or movie, th movie theater vibes and I do really enjoy enjoyed and enjoy watching stuff on this thing though 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 for me brightness is not enough I measured by that ANSI standards 150 lumens though again though manufacturer told that the project was to have 200 and sediments in the center it has a 250 an sediment but by sides by perimeter it goes as low as 100 next it needs some time to warm up and while it's warming up you are preparing yourself to watch a film to watch a movie so psychologically it is again different to watch a movie on the projector you are investing your time you are investing you are investing and therefore you are getting more you are enjoying something what you are watching a lot more next this particular project here resets lamp brightness every time when you restart this thing so if you are going to buy the same projector if that 150 ANS settlements are not for you keep that in mind I got those stains there are a couple of them maybe three or four but big one only one I have no idea what is this but it's there those lenses are hard to clean very hard to clean and dust is getting everywhere on the lenses inside the projector just everywhere you need to put this thing into the dead center otherwise corners are getting wasted completely wasted and are impossible to look at but in the sake of justice so is uneven brightness in the center and by perimeter as that focus problem is not really noticeable when you watch movies do not look inside just do not if you want a big screen you have to get a brighter projector farther from the wall the bigger the screen but therefore it is dimmer I was putting this thing about two meters from the wall and I was getting a screen 1 meter 33 
cm wide and 75 cm height and it is a about 54 inches and the last thing is if you have bright wallpapers it's gonna be not really great experience brighter image the room lights up and basically destroys the image itself so if you are going to invest yourself invest your time and money you are going to buy the projector you are going to make or buy a screen for this thing you are probably going to get a dark environment and for me well as i said i really enjoyed watching films on this projector though it's just a texturized wallpaper and 150 lumen cheapest projector i still did enjoy it very much i'm not sure when but sooner or later i will buy a nice expensive projector probably laser one i mean you just put that thing as close to the wall or to the screen as possible and it is a dead center no need to adjust stuff and caring that your head is going to be <laughs> on the screen so i think that's all what i want to say i will try to invest myself a little bit into the projectors because i do like the image i'm getting from this the feelings that image instills in me and considering the fact that i love watching films watching movies a lot i think it's worth the try also as a little sneak peek or how do you call it i have a video coming about a laptop and this laptop probably has the best screen you can get in laptops of course so please click the like button and of course consider subscribing to my channel so you won't miss this video thank you for watching